The hacking scandal in London wasn't the only one in the news today. Authorities say there is no connection, but the FBI rounded up alleged members of a hacking gang that calls itself anonymous. Here is our chief investigative correspondent, Armin Katayan. Dozens of FBI agents targeted alleged members of the loose-knit hacking group. Simultaneous raids driven by the U.S. Attorney's Office in San Jose, California. Armed with search warrants, agents hit six homes in New York along with locations across the country, seizing hard drives and computer accessories. According to the government, the arrests were based on a cyber attack by Anonymous last December against the online payment company PayPal. PayPal had suspended an account tied to the website WikiLeaks, cutting off online donations. The group has also taken credit for hacking the websites of the CIA and the city of Orlando after police there arrested people for handing out sandwiches to the homeless without a permit. This man calls himself Commander X and says he's part of Anonymous and orchestrated the Orlando project. He asked us to hide his identity. The power of Anonymous is, is, is that we have the ability to affect change on the Internet. You have a site on, online. All of a sudden, we snap our fingers and that site is gone. Their method of choice, a denial of service attack, where hackers overwhelm websites with a huge volume of requests for information, crashing the site, says Commander X, for a cause. That process is, is the equivalent of a virtual sit-in. It's no different, really, than taking up seats at the Woolworths lunch counter during the, during the 50s, during the civil rights movement in the 50s and the 60s. Sixteen people were arrested today, but sources say they're not leaders in the group, but rather people, Bob, who volunteered to help in the attacks. Okay, thanks, Armin. It's not quite the civil rights movement as I see it.